at it. So this is the guilty party. Terrible. <sighs> Need a tool for that job. Look at all this power. Ooh. Never find any tools here. Never. That one. That'll do. <laughs> Screwed in. We're gonna go under here. Two screws. One, one, two, three. A few more screws. How's it going? So the lowering springs went to someone. They're building a S13 project. So nice and local. Wish him the best. Probably don't watch the videos, but you know how it is. Grill is off. And I did it all without taking the bumper off. A little bit fiddly, but let me show you. So what I used was this screwdriver. Don't know what that's classed as. Yep. Flathead. Pop these out. So there was one, two, three, all of them across the top. So there was a plastic guard on the inside. Undone the four clips on that. Then I put my hand in and undone one screw there, one screw there. And then there's these four from underneath. Give it a wiggle and it's off. Is that simple? I am going to tidy all this up because it's been done with hammer right by the looks of it. Give that a bit of a tidy and a bit of spray and we'll be bang on. I'm going to look into the grill now. It looks like you might need to change some bits over for the mounting. What have I done that? We all good. Does this come off? Doesn't look like it. There's some screws here, but they're not in the same location. So maybe this just bolts straight on. It's a hard area. But there was no mounting point for the bottom. That's completely different. And there's no. I wonder if that's the same as that. Probably not. Looks like we've got some spare nuts and bolts, my boys. Oh, what a beautiful day. Still chilly, dog, but it's lovely still. Doesn't seem to fit. W wrench. Fuck eBay. Clearly doesn't work. Now the listings. Why well, can't you just have something for sale that's listed with information that does exactly what it says on the tin? Is that really that difficult? Why waste my time and your time? Because I am paying to send it back. It's wrong. So you'll be paying for it. Thank you very much, Mr. eBay. Yet again. This project is now on hold. I'm going to have to trim these tabs with a grinder that I can't get to because the car's in the way. So I'm going to go to West Brom Fasters and go and get some nuts. Yep. God, don't know got drive with no grill in my car. Sand. Cheers, eBay. Thank you very much. We're back. You probably didn't even know we're gone. But I went to West Brom Fasteners. 
Got some bolts for the gearbox. Got eight new bolts for the manifold bolts. And then I've got three new bolts for the downpipe. Sand Hitler. Winning, winning, chicken, dinning. Where was we? Oh yeah, this thing. Let's get the grinder out, shall we? I hope it fits. I can't be bothered to send it back. Let's just let's give it a go. Let's just calm down, guys. Give it a go. So we've got the, we've got the goods out. Let's just cut it. So what my plan is, is to just cut these tabs here. So we can slide it in. Don't forget to put your protective clothing on. Took my nice pop shop hoodie off because I don't want to get it dirty. Appreciate you, man. Gloves, eyewear, facewear, respiration. I'm just going to do it. You can see we've cut them down. It's got the grinder in there. Nothing spectacular because I don't think it's going to fit anyway. Okay, calm down. I'm going to get the keys and we'll try it. Yes! Doesn't fit at all. Not at all. Come on, man. So that's it. Email, send it back. It don't work. I'm going to have to put that ugly thing back on. Sad. Well, that was very uh, disappointing. We're going to have to return that now. Hopefully we won't have any problems because you know how sellers can be. It just doesn't fit. It's as simple as that. And then we'll have to try some else and not bother at all. I'm not quite sure yet. But we've got the bolts, so we're going to get the engine on the stand when Grant gets here. And we're also going to drain the oil. But that's... That's for another day. Well, I'm going to do it today. But do I might bore you. I'm just picking up the camera. Just going to show you what I'm doing. Keeping busy here. Is this what you like? Or do you want to see more, uh, like, a project for the day? Or just want to see how terrible the day goes? Or do you just want to see how many failures we have in one day? Easy by me, because it's just I'll pick up the camera. Let me know down below. I think we've got a bit of one success today. Now, if you're looking to ever get an engine stand... What I did was I keep my bolts like this and then I got the ones I wanted which happened to be them and then I tested them in here but they were too short so I got them an extra 20 mil longer so these ones are actually 90 mil overall which should be enough for the bracket and also to screw into there without causing any damage because if they're too long your polar threads so be careful but i'm going to whip these up now with the drill and the ratchet and we'll have some successful ones oh, if i said it too soon we should be all right and we're winning exactly what i needed and then i just nip these ones up when i was happy with it now what we've got to do is wait for our mate Grant to come and give us a lift so we can put it on the stand and then it can go to the engine builders to be drilled out. We had some fun there, didn't we? Oh, God. Well, that engine stand I built the other day, I built completely wrong. This bracket here was not in the right side. So the engine was tilting like mad. And I was looking at it going, that doesn't look right. And then Grant come down as well. He was like, yeah, it's heavy engine, are you? Well, no, not really. Not for what it's rated at. So we just went. Because we had to lift the engine up by hand to put it on the stand. But I'm still looking at it. I'm looking at it. I'm looking at it. And I'm thinking, oh, if that bar goes in the other way, it's going to be way stronger. And it was. This bar was in the wrong side, which was making this bend. Look at the engineer up here. I mean, figured it out, though. But there was no way of getting the engine 
off the stand on my own with no engine crane. But what I forgot was we had a ramp, so I tied a chain around here and here, put it up here, attached it to the gearbox mounts with the bolts. I've got some extended ones through the chain. That one there, actually. Yep. Put two jacks either side of the piece of wood on the sump, jacked it up, rebuilt it, put it back on. Job's a good one. I'm going to put a picture in now and showing you exactly my setup. It is pretty ghetto, but you know what? Does the job, do we? I mean, I think out the box and stuff. But now the stand's all ready to go. And we can drop the engine off tomorrow to get that drilled out and get it time certed, I think they said. And then we'll be able to put the oil for cooler on, put it all back together, blah, blah, blah. So I've had some ups and downs. The grill didn't fit, the engine stand was built incorrect. We got the bolts for the gearbox though. What else? That's about it, I suppose. We've got all the hardware for the manifold and the turbo. That's good. That's gonna be it. Nothing else. Oh, I tried the EP3 seats in the EK and they don't fit. The bolts are pretty close, but it looks like you've got to bend the two brackets at the front to it to sit right. And I ain't about that. So I took them out, put them straight back in the other car. It's not worth the risk. Plus they look like they sat a bit high. But that's it. This is how we're standing now. No engine. This is it. We've got to put that fuel filter on there, continue that. I've sprayed this here where I've flattened it so I can get the gearbox in and out a bit better where the starter motor sits. But I'm thinking of painting the bay. I put a little poll on uh, Instagram about 10-15 minutes ago, so we'll see what the people are saying. Do we keep it purple? Do we switch it up? Do we try something new? Oh, who knows? Whichever we do, we've got to up our game slightly more, if we can. The purple has been beautiful. While we're here, we might as well just do that a little bit extra more. But I think that's going to be it for me today. You know what I mean? Like, it's been its ups and downs, it's not exactly been brilliant. But we'll give it a go. Still waiting on deliveries and stuff. So hopefully... We'll get some more parts soon. But until then, don't forget to like. Because we need the likes. We really do. Subscribe if you haven't already. And you want to continue watching whatever we get up to here. And comment if you fancy a waffle. All down for the waffle. But I'll catch you next time. And cheers for coming. See you later.